Yeah, yeah. I grew up here. And, um, yeah, Woodjil is home for me. It's peaceful, quiet. Um, I love the nature of it. The salt water and fresh water area. The surrounding of this area, um, the waterfall, the uh, rainforest, and um, the coastline is just here, mate. It's lovely and green, the rainforest. We have creeks there and it's peaceful. You sort of release your stress and worries and it's like our, our country is a healing place. Jabagai and Google Yalanji, they were neighbours. They speak the old dialect. They go down the halfway, the halfway point is um, Marlborough, back this way, it's Jabagai. And when you look at Marlborough from Mossman, the halfway point, so they used to come down, walk along the um, ridge, down down to the Marlborough. That's where they used to collect shells and they used to trade, you know, food, um, plum, cherry, bush food, you know. Trade it with the Cook Allergy people. It's been, yeah, the Art, art Centre been running for uh, over a number of years now and getting community uh, members involved in doing art, keeping that culture going, is um, something great there. Uh, well, I started up with my father. Yeah, my father was teaching me how to do painting and that. My father from uh, up in Cowan, but my mother from here. Uh, well, this one here, in that language, we call it Ngovia, but that's turtle. Yeah, my father used to hunt for these, but we used to use a uh, dilly bag, you know, go out. We never used to use those real bags. Uh, when I was five years old, I started sketching with pen and paper. My brother was a dancer, my sister was a dancer. And I started sketching from there and used to charcoal and then continue using colour pencils and her schools. This is the Great Barrier Reef, connected to the Coral Reef. And the circle represent the coral, and the different colour represent all the creatures uh, crabs, fish, especially the fish, you know, yabbies. Um, squid. When I look at the sea animal, you know, the sea life is reflect on the paint today. I love telling my stories through my painting, and and this makes me feel happy to be an Aboriginal person. Bamma, Murray. <laughs> yeah. Um, we collected uh, local locals from here in Wujalo out at Rossville. We bring them back here and yeah, we just um, use hammer to bang it and then mix it with acrylic paint to make different colors. Um, the story behind the ants is just like it's green ants, it's good for sickness like flu, even if you have a cowl or maybe grog sick. <laughs> There's a lot of talent around and um, you don't want that, at the end of the day, you don't want that talent to be going to waste where you could be making a name for yourself in that industry and you're yeah, showing off your artwork and people from all over buying your artwork. Yeah, I feel good about myself. Um, good to see my work out there and um, so that other people can see what we're doing here in Woodall at the Art Centre. At the mission time, they wasn't allowed to know their cultural 
the cultural background. They wasn't allowed to um, speak their language. That's why we more or less grew up English way. But we still kept their cultural, you know, way of living. But it's very important that, you know, our knowledge is passed down to our younger generation, my four kids and my three grannies. It's very important to me that they know. So every time my kids come up from Ingham, I always share that knowledge with them, you know. I said, oh, you know, it's very important that when you're in country, I'm teaching you how to go hunting for your food, especially when we go down the beach or when we go in the rainforest. I'm always showing them bush food, uh, seafood, you know, mussel, crab, pipi shell, and even for crocs. If you know crocs around, you can sense them by the strong, oily, fishy, mangrove, strong smell. That's what I always tell them, always be aware. When we know and we can sense the smell, we move away. I'm always Worry, you know, stress out, no, 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 come on, let's go. Go to the fresh water, you know. I've been teaching all my grandchildren to hunt for traditional foods. Like I take them out, go get green ants, dig for scrub hen nests, like the eggs. I'm taking them fishing, showing them some stuff, like how to make dilly bags and that. Um, well, back in, probably in my grandmother's time, they used it for fishing. Like they used to leave it in the water with, for fish. Or they put some seeds in there yeah, that they use, used to use for jewelry to get the poison out. They soak it in the water overnight. Yeah. Um, it's really important, man. Um, I guess important to every young kid growing up and um, getting hand that knowledge down from our older generation to young generation is um, actually keeping that knowledge alive um, yeah like um, hunting and um, uh, artifacts and um, languages and um, story of the area mate that's why it's very important that our kids, indigenous kids, they're going to have that very strongly to know that knowledge, you know, of how to survive on country, you know, because that's how I've been bred up, you know. I know the city life and I know the country. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty strong here. Um, language is strong. Um, the oldies speak it fluently. But um, the younger ones, yeah, when we're having a conversation with each other, we'll use it now and then. Um, but yeah, la language is our um, second word, I guess. So not that we speak English every day, so we mix up yeah, English and language. So if we're speaking to our oldies, we'll talk language back to them. Yeah, so they understand that you know, give them a bit of a thing that we're, as young ones, speaking our language as well. Showcasing it in our community. Um, it's good when you're showcasing your own backyard. That way you get more, um, more young ones coming and doing it. But yeah, um, other than that, mate, I want to see a lot of things happen for Wujo. Uh, arts, dancing and music brings everybody together and that's our culture really. We want to keep that culture going for the next, I don't know, million, 20 million or something years. <laughs> but yeah, culture is a big thing for the whole of Cape. And like we said, we're, we live and breathe that stuff. <laughs>